Watson. And it's going to have around a manual transmission. It's going to be an upgraded 5.0 liter V8 engine. And it's going to deliver at least 475 horsepower, ladies and gentlemen, with 420 foot pounds of torque. With a top speed of 163 miles per hour. And uh, we're looking at about around 8 miles per hour increase over the latest Mustang GT. So not too bad. Uh, limited edition here. So definitely one very nice piece to have. You won't be seeing these uh, you know, much around or very often. So if you can get your hands on one of these, I'll say go for it. We're looking at the Ford GT. You know, uh, if you've been with the channel for a while, you know, I've been talking about this car ever since it was announced as a prototype here. And just being able to see it in person with the uh, carbon fiber wheels there and the carbon fiber everywhere. You can see the aerodynamic there going out the back. It's just an amazing car to see in person. It's a shame that we can't go in there and get inside the car. Uh, so I guess we're only going to be able to see here from the outside, but uh, this should be enough to kind of get an idea here. I really wish we were able to pop on the inside. Let's see if I can get a shot of the engine from here. The back of this car is sick. I always like the way that the uh, rear tail light there and the exhaust. I mean, you can't go wrong with this type of exhaust right there. It's one beautiful car. I mean, you can see those aerodynamics I was talking about earlier right there on each side. And uh, engine smack right in the middle. This rear end is something that I can fall in love with every single day. So we have the RS. This is one sweet car here. Let's see if we can get inside. All right, hopping into the RS for the first time. Let's check out this thing. Here we go. All right, okay, okay. Ooh, some really tight bolsters here. I like these seats already. Not too bad. Looking at Ford and the inside. Not too used to Ford. Look at this, it got carbon fiber on the e-brake. Getting a feel here for the... Not too bad, I like the engagement. Let's take a look at the infotainment there. You got some very, some useful information here, though I wish those gauges were a little bigger. And they're looking at the uh, uh, tachometers here. Uh, this is a car that everyone knows on the internet. It says RS everywhere. Every angle of this car that you look at, you see uh, uh, RS. And of course, we got number one fan of RSs. We got this princess right here. Say hi. Hi. You like bunnies? Yes. Nice. So we spotted a legitimate RS owner right here. What's your name? I'm Dan. Dan, all right, Dan. What year is your RS? 2016. 2016, nice. How do you like it? Love it. Love it? Yeah. All right, should I get one? Yes, definitely. All right, so you guys heard him. I got to get an RS now. You got it. He said they're good to go, so. They're awesome. All right. Anything you want to tell the fans of YouTube? We're all set. <laughs> <laughs> More AI. AI everywhere, guys. This is the future, whether you like it or not. So you can see all these manufacturing companies are definitely um, utilizing that to their advantage so they can give all these folks here a good experience so New for 2019 is the four edge um, ST here at the back. As you can see, it has the same color as the Ford Focus ST, and uh, it looks interesting. Let me show you some of the details here. Uh, I like the cues, I like the, the details, you know, looks very nice. Check out the running light game going on in the front fascia of this uh, Atlas here. Even the logo is LED. How do you like that? Let me know in the comments below. Also, check out these rims. These are some very, very nice rims. And again, there's that orange color. Every other uh, manufacturer out here is doing some version of that um, fire looking orange, if not that uh, blue uh, that we've seen on almost all the hot hatches uh, so far. Check out the bag here. Here it is. 
so you guys take a look at this uh, pickup truck from Volkswagen here. This is a uh, pickup version of the Atlas, known as a uh, Tonoc, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. This is going to be the probably the first pickup truck from Volkswagen here since the 1980s. You got the move. There we are on the screen. Say hello to everybody. Thank you guys for watching this video. You guys are the best. Give it a thumbs up here. You can see there that's me with the camera. All right, you guys. Big thumbs up and subscribe below if you like this video. Welcome to, oh, look at this guy. There we go, everybody. Where's my face? There's my face. You can see my face. <laughs> This is the second time Subaru is teasing us with a STI version to their BRC. I must say it looks very, very nice. Of course we got the boxer engine. Nice little details here with the STI logo everywhere. I believe probably 500 units. 500 yeah. units? That's pretty limited. They tend to go pretty fast. <laughs> I know. Oh my yeah. goodness, only 500 of these? You said 205? Uh, 205 horsepower. 205 horsepower, okay. Very good. So looking at the interior here, BRC, uh, TF, they're making 500 of these. Top horsepower is 205. Uh, interior is pretty similar to uh, the ongoing uh, BRC. You got some SCI touches here and there, you know, stuff like that. Wondering why they put uh, SCI everywhere, but then they come up with that TS, the whole new branding there. All the little buttons and controls and all that. This, this driving position though, this is one very sweet driving position right here. Check out this detail here. I uh, like this nice touch here. Makes it so aggressive with the airflow. And uh, these are uh, functional. You can see through them there. So very, very nice touch. I don't know how I feel right now. I got mixed feelings because I uh, sitting inside this STI here and uh, just brings back memories from my 2014 STI. And uh, this one just uh, looks so nice. Yo, Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. STI everywhere, of course. Push start ignition and uh you know screen navigation all the good stuff it looks like they're only doing three digits uh worth of production there hopefully with the seats though i hope they're comfortable you know the newer seats because subaru is known for having some very stiff seats like the seats on my uh 2014 those were some crazy seats i had some lumbar bar, uh, back pain and all that every time i got out of it but uh this, these ones these were cars they, they look pretty good finally made it to the honda type r you guys ladies and gentlemen here it is nothing new to see here this car's already been out in the market being sold at your local honda dealership but it is just amazing just like, to look at them why? finally inside the uh type r here the honda loving the red accents everywhere Nice seating positions, comfortable seats. Hopefully I can do a very detailed uh, review of this car for you sometime here very soon. I like the uh, shift knob position, very nice location there. All right, for my JDM people out there, uh, here are all the JDM parts straight from Japan. So you get all the JDM swag you want here for your Civic. All right, legitimate JDM. Parts, you guys. If you want to be able to see your car from miles away, forget about the Type R. You get this lime green edition here, and uh, you'll make sure you find it on the parking lot uh, if the panic button doesn't work. Uh, so he's explaining to him that that battery is for only the accessories. So that way, when you're using your accessories, it's not actually going into your uh, the, the range of your actual EV. Because the actual EV is a lithium ion polymer battery. That's what we use in this, as well as like ionic. Um, so that's what he was explaining to him now and the, the different charging stations and the different times so it all depends um, okay. you have three different levels like you know if you want to use like half regular outlet which takes forever or you can use now this one is like about what eight hours if you say right this can take eight hours nine and a half yeah 
Uh, then this is the DC test charge, which is like 50 minutes for 8%, which is full charge. Every new sports car is coming out with some type of shade of blue here. We've got this baby blue looking new Veloster with the uh, red accents there. Uh, definitely very sporty looking here. Here's an interesting feature about this car. There is only one door on the driver's side as you can see there. There is not all the door. And once uh, this uh, check here, no other door other than the driver's side. And then on this side, we're looking at two doors. Very interesting here. Interesting choice here. Only one on the driver's side, two on the passenger side. I was just educated here that the purpose for these two doors is that they're trying to make it uh, somewhat friendly, user friendly, so that on this side, you can have some passengers in the back. You know, if you got a family or whatever, you got two doors. And then you can still keep that driver-oriented uh, car guy inside of you on the other side with just the one door. So interesting, right? sound though because they obviously can't turn the car on in here but you can see this whole line of people all these people here lined up to get in the driver's seat of that demon and check out what the experience is all about look at this guy here i know he's having a good time what do you prefer here we got this uh, nice orange color or this uh, gray here with the black combination let me know in the comments below which one you think you like the most Check out this display here. There's a demon popping a willy for you guys. I think we like very, very nice display. Here is the supercharged 6.2 liter Hemi Demon V8 engine. All that blue you see there is that cooling technology that uh, this car has where it uses part of the AC to cool off the uh, engine. Look at the difference there. Some of the lights in the interior are reflecting different things. Very nice uh, supercharger with a demon engraved right there. And here we have the infamous Demon Crate. Can I give you guys an idea what co comes in it? Of course, uh, you know, of course, uh, thinner rims. Got a nice racing jack there. A couple of other different things. So from 
what I understand, this SUV right here is taking on uh, Mercedes and Audis and uh, BMWs and even Bentleys. Like, this car is packed with so much technology you won't even imagine. Guys, we're looking at the new grill face here of what the uh, new GMC trucks are going to look like. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or not. That's basically what it's going to look like. Let me show you this black one here. 2019 front face. Got a nice face lift. I, I, I personally like it. You guys let me know if you guys like it in the comments below. Alright, we're about to leave the auto show here, but I am taking this truck here back to Florida. For what reason, I'm not sure, but I want to drive that sick thing on the road. I happen to live in Florida, so I don't have any other choice, but that truck just looks unbelievably manly. Manly truck right there. So, if you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments below. I'm taking that thing to Florida, no matter what you say. guys I've had at least 10 people approach me and ask me what my uh, dead cat is for the camera and uh, it's definitely been a good uh, reason to start an awesome conversation with you guys and share about the channel so if you're seeing this video and I got a chance to meet you in person thank you very much for approaching me and asking me about it awesome way to you know get to know you exchange some ideas and definitely a pleasure and uh, thank you so much for joining the boost and red line family I really appreciate it